attention, parental adversary. I am quite careful with these things. However, for the sake of educational purposes and the record value, we will mention some inappropriate words not suitable for younger audiences, particular for the end of this series of the top Taino Hibara words. In these two cases, thing names and the names of concepts, good or bad, that are used in modern day Puerto Rican language and are of native Taino origin. Note, even seemingly the end of the category of things and concepts, this might be a recurring theme nonetheless. Even though we also include general words, some of other classification are included due to their popularity amongst modern day Puerto Ricans. Other classifications for future videos are Taino names for towns, places, geography, animals, food, plants, male, female, baby names. So post your preferred Taino names and other ideas. I already have my list of names going on and including a list of Taino barrio names, which will be promising all together with the rest of the videos that I am making. Let's begin with the most solid Taino Hibara words for the end of the things, concepts, and other series and offer the words a brief explanation. You see, there may be some Taino Hibara words that are Hibaru, but not Taino, at least not completely, however. And also, some of these words are accepted in modern day Puerto Rican Taino lexicon because there is a branch of Borique speakers that acknowledge most Hibara words as a whole. And some naturally enter Taino language like a glove to the hand because they are of Taino origin. Number one, chola. It's the head, and like we've mentioned in previous videos, the coco, the cocote, or the cocorote. Number two, sereta, word for messy hair, stemming from Taino word for hair. Quiserata. Number three, maina. It's a garden such as guadilla, but it may also refer to brush and shrubs. Number four, manihua. It's brush and shrubs, tall grass and forestal like ata and yucubia. Number five, hagua. It's a big tree with a water shooting fruit. It's also a Taino word for the color black and it's a black paint extracted from plants and trees. Number six, ana. Taino word for flower like in anacaona song, golden flower, an ancient Taino lady. Number seven, arepa, a Puerto Rican fritter made of corn flour, water, and salt, with many delicious fillings like white or yellow cheese, shrimp, seafood, or carne, chicken, and others. Number eight, hampie. I couldn't find an origin for Hibara word hampie, hampial, or hampiar. We just all know it means to guzzle down food rapidly. If it would be of Taino origin, retainization would be hampie or just hampi. However, this criollo word is used amongst all Puerto Ricans. Number nine of the inappropriate words we have, bay aco. For the meaning, please review Taino Borique word of the day, episode number two. Number 10, another of inappropriate origin, but it's simply and actually highly vulgarized just for being a Hibara word of high Taino origin, which is a form of attack culture toward Taino. The word is chinga, which means intercourse, to procreate or to mate. Number 11, we have fondillo or fundillo in reference to the butt. It is disregarded as completely Taino upon having letter F, phonetic almost entirely untraceable in the Taino lexicon. Some Taino Hibara words may have Afro-Boricua influence. In that sense, fondillo is similar to Hibara word as well, safacón. We may explore more African influence shortly. And I wouldn't be surprised if modern day Borique would have some of these Africanisms. Number 12. I wanted to reiterate Bayoya. It's actually an iguana kind. It also means to make fun, maybe vulgarly, in modern day Boricua talk. Number 13. Let's include Choreto again. It means a lot. And not to be confused with Spanish Chorro, but might be influenced. Still used in Taino Borique. Number 14. 
Nagua. It's an improper or proper or unofficial word for native regalia shorts or bottom. Number 15, Guana Atabe. It's Taino for it's far. Spanish form is Guana Atabeye. Number 16, Bahia. It's a bay. Number 17, Cayo. It's a super small island in Taino language. Number 18 is Macacoa. Translation is a great hole. In the Puerto Rican dialect, you imply you're having bad luck. Me cayó la Macacoa. Number 19, Guareto. It's Taino for twins or copy. Number 20, Tabaco. What? You thought it was only Cuban? All Taino, including Boricuas, cultivated tabaco. Now, let's review some Taino Hibara words for some plants and animals. Number one, sarobei, a big tree. A translation is love to what you see. Number two, guayacan, a big Puerto Rican tree. It may translate to the center of the spirit. Number three, jutia, a big Boricua native rodent kind, like capybara. Number four, huey, a land crab. Number five, Burukena is a dark submerged crab crustacean. Number six, Kikotea, a turtle. Let us review a phrase. Tu eres como los mugaro? It means you sleep during the day and is awake during the nighttime. A sure mixture of the three races would be Mascala Cachimba. And stated from dialectboricua.com, it vulgarized even further to Macara Cachimba. Cachimba being Latin, Bantu, and if you say Macara means the place of trees. However, the site hypothesizes that this was a chief in South America, the most tobacco guy in the area, and that was called Masca La Cachimba. It's just funny, I can translate its vulgarization and still reach a logical phrase. However, which one came first is still up for debate. Some Taino Hibaro proper names are Urajoan where ura means wind baire which can also be written baire where bai means fire i had a friend named baire and he is taino in appearance could be one of those high high taino families of rio grande and juiza who was a woman who became cacique chief in north of canoibana to the coast and it later became the taino name of loisa today a town municipality of puerto rico I wanted to research boina, even being French, there might also be a Taino word that is boina, like boinael, a name, and iguana boina, a snake, so it might be a herper name. Word tecato, meaning drug addict, and chipote, which in Puerto Rican dialect means back of the head, are criollo-ized. Puerto Rican words from the Mexican Nahuatl influenced and maybe others possibly. Now, to end with this segment, let's review some Criollo afro Boricua words. Number one, monga, a cold or bone breaker sickness. Number two, merecumbe, African word for merengue cumbia mix. Number three, masucamba, as a rhythm, but the origin of the word might be Native American to Venezuela. Number four, Jurutungo, meaning far. Number five, malanga and ñame. They are verduras. Number six, gandul, a bean that is iron rich. Number seven, mofongo, Puerto Rican plantain fritter mash. Number eight, mondongo, beef tribe, pig or calf feet stew. That might be a starter to cuchifrito culture. Number nine, fufu, enchantment. Number 10, candungo, a bucket of water, recipient also for trash. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.